Hey everyone, it is Gordon. Hey, hope you're having a great week. Uh, I just wanted to film a quick video. Uh, I am out here uh, at a client's house. We had a home inspection done yesterday. Uh, the home inspector did uncover uh, inside the home what is uh, looks like a few water leaks in the drywall and the ceiling. Um, but I just wanted to kind of stress the importance of a getting a roof inspection on a house. Uh, this one was built in 2005, and uh, most of these homes, actually, uh, the roof from the builders usually lasts about five to 15 years. Uh, keep in mind, very important to get a home inspection, uh, but usually a home inspector, uh, they are a little limited on what they can do. They will get up in the attic, uh, look for signs of leaking on the decking in the attic, and obviously any type of visual signs of leaking in the house. Uh, what they are not supposed to do, which some do, uh, but most do not, uh, do not lift up any roof tiles or do any of that because they are not licensed contractors. Uh, so I actually have a roofer up top of this house right now, but just wanted to share with you, if you're buying a home, um, working with ourselves or with another realtor, I think one of probably the most important things you can do, especially if the home inspector does find any type of uh, residual or anything showing water leaking instead of making assumptions. Uh, a great investment is to have a qualified roofer that you trust um, or that your realtor trusts to come out and take a look. I'm gonna show you in this house, I will flip the camera around, you know, uh, kind of water staining and things like that that came up in the home inspection. Um, but if, if your home inspector is finding these type of things, um, some of these might be hard to see, but there are some, uh, some water leaks and signs of water leaking along this. Um, and there's a few other places. I'll show you one, uh, one place outside of the house. And there's Zach, and we'll meet Zach up top here in a minute. But I think it's really important too um, either if you're working with us or your other realtor, uh, that you use a roofer that they trust, a roofer that they like, because uh, keep in mind, they are businesses, and I've seen many people, uh, roofers, get up there and uh, suggest a lot of repairs that don't need to be made and scare buyers away, uh, but using someone that is trusted to you know what they're looking at. They're not over or under suggesting what needs to be done, uh, but just kind of signs of leaking underneath the decking. So these are all things that kind of came up in our home inspection a report. And so my buyer said, hey, let's let's have Zach, who I use, uh, he's with Icon Roofing, come out, take a look at the roof. And like I mentioned before, home inspectors, basically, they are able to visually get in the attic, see what's going on. And then, like I said, signs of drywall uh, leaks and repairs and things like that. And I am going up a ladder. So if it looks a little shaky, that is why. Um, but we'll come up here and see Zach. Um, but what home inspectors are not supposed to do, because uh, they are not licensed contractors, are remove roof tiles. So we are up here on the flat portion of the roof. And there's Zach there. And maybe right. kind of give us a rundown of, I guess, things that he's looking for. And we'll go from there. Yeah. So, normal patio roof, we look at these little granules right here, little sand pieces. This one's almost all the way gone, and there's actually a few leaks in the house. So it just implies that the roof is old and it's that time to be replaced. Yeah. Then I look at the general condition, there's a broken tile from a fall on the yep. There's old uh, satellite dish brackets that weren't, weren't removed and they were cocked over. Some old, you know, wires for the satellite dish that are not taken off. Yep. Here's a broken tile right here. Yep. Yeah, they cock that's super cocked together. Got it. So just keep in mind, uh, a lot of times, I think the most common thing, and if you buy a house in Arizona, you will see cracked roof tiles. So I wouldn't necessarily be alarmed, in my opinion, uh, about cracked roof tiles. I tell most buyers and most sellers, when you get a home inspection or a roofer that you will have them, I think what I've seen in the past is when usually if that roof, if that tile is cracked and not there, and then exposes the, uh, the underlayment. Yeah. Kind of over there. Yeah. So, because uh, I mean, from what I from what I gather, the underlayment, which underneath there, there's a which I talked about before, there's a uh, roofing felt underneath there that basically protects the roof. And I think the job of the roofing tiles, if I'm correct, Zach, and I might be wrong, 
is to protect the underlayment. Yes. Yeah, so, so if it ever breaks, it just adds extra water and sun onto the paper. Yeah. It just expedites it. Yeah. So you want to get it replaced as quick as you can just to make it last as long yeah. as possible. Cool. But, you know, you technically have six months or so to replace any broken top before you yeah. really have some damage yeah. on it. Awesome. Cool. Well, I just wanted to come up on a roof today, actually see the fun stuff you can actually see from, from up here as well. So if you're... Uh, if you are buying a house or have bought a house, I know this year was a little bit interesting here in Arizona. We had a lot of rain. Um, so if you're a homeowner, that was either good or bad for you. So if you have a leaky roof, give me a shout out. I'll give you Zach's information. He can come out and give you an estimate on what takes to be repaired. Um, if you're buying a house, I think for the investment it takes to have someone like Zach come out and take a look, uh, definitely a great investment. Because probably to redo a whole roof like this, I would probably guess to venture 20, about 15, 20, about, about 15, 17, so 15 or 20,000. So call it a, I don't know, hundred, let's call it a hundred dollar investment plus to have someone like Zach come out and take a look at your roof or not have that and move into your house and then have a $20,000 uh, investment that you were not looking forward to. So anyways, it's, I'm up on a roof. Definitely get a roof inspection, uh, especially if your home inspector finds signs of water leaking. Anyways, make it a great week. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.